this out. So let's just delete the surfboard. Destroy entity. Done. And now I'm going to get in the pilot seat. So I need him to go back. Sh 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 oh, what did he do? He went into a drone and turned off the AI. Now he's in the engine. Well done. Now I've got to reactivate the bobby. And I don't even know which one it was. That's one annoying thing about this, is if you switch the wrong way, which is why I'm saying use another player to actually pulse, and then you don't have to switch ever, is if you accidentally switch the wrong way into one of these, then it will turn off the AI, so you won't be able to use it. When you, when you undock it, it will just float dead. So I've got two on selected target and two on all. So the idea is I've got one of one and one of the other. So we've seen it move. It doesn't move very fast because of all the extra weight, like I say. And, you know, if I wanted to, I could have made the extenders, uh, the uh, area and docking enhancers smaller, which would have made the drones, because the thing is the drones don't actually add to the weight of the ship at all, which is really surprising. Um, actually, I think I will just quickly show you something else, which I found quite interesting, because this has got such low mass. Let's just get my co-pilot in the uh, command pod. All right, because this has such low mass, I found a trick for rotating fast, and this will probably work for just about every ship. And maybe people know about it already. I found it out by accident. Um, what you've got to do is... Um, I'll, I'll demonstrate first with this screen. Okay, so see, you know when you're in a ship? Let's get in a core. When you're in a ship, you've got this crosshair in the middle of the circle, right? And on the biggest ships, the crosshair will, will go out of the screen. When you uh, want to go to turn it, it'll move right to the edge and it'll wait for you to turn. Okay? So, sort of like that. But it takes ages, obviously, because the mass of your ship makes it slow, right? Right. So if I just turn it and put it in build mode, look. It doesn't slow down. Like, normally you slow it down because the mouse, you have to move it to keep spinning. So anyway, I thought, could this be applied to um, my ship? Because it's got quite a fast turn speed, even though it looks quite big. So, and this is what we ended up with. Okay. Look at that. It's just spinning on a pinhead, because obviously the core's at the front there. I think the core's at the front there. Yeah, it is. The core's right on the front. As you can see, that, that, that actually works. Ooh. So, you know, you don't have to use it for uh, sideways. You could use it for uh, up and down. Okay. So you can go uh, spin up and down. And all I've done is I've just literally gone to turn and then press space. And then say I want to stop and re-angle. Makes it much, much easier to actually turn. I mean... I think it works with spin too, but I don't know why you would want to spin quickly. But yeah, so it's quite interesting. And uh, I'm sure it will make it much easier for bigger ships to rotate. I mean, maybe it's part of the fact that I've got my fulcrum on the front, like on the nose here, you see. Well, everything's rotating around it. And the mass is really low as well. So. But anyway, I'm going to get inside it now and... Uh, Let's test these drones out. Okay, so Peregrine. Looks like a small fighter. It's got guns and hardened hull on the front. So that should be an interesting little fight. So if I get back in this ship. Uh, oh, yeah. Then, so we're going to do start ship AI minus one. And then immediately select the other one. Oh boy, oh boy. Get me out of here. 